838. And up next, we go inside the community with local author Kenneth Barnes. He talks to us about his work and what inspired him to become a writer. That's after the break on 44 News This Morning, focused on family and the community. Welcome back. It's 841, and we're going inside the community this morning with local author Kenneth Barnes. Thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. And we're going to start off talking about uh, some of your novels. But first, you used to be an employee of Fox 44, and we got a picture. Let's go ahead and pull that up, because that's going to be cool to show. So tell us what it was like uh, when you were here. Oh, well, it's 22 years ago, and it's when it was on Riverside. I did outdoor news segments. I had to make up the stories, write them, edit them. Uh, direct them, so it was exciting for me. And there's your picture. You look great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that leads us into one of your ebooks. It's called A Cabin in the Woods, and that's mm -hmm. where you talk about some of your yes. news experience. Actually, right? this interview right now is in that book because oh, it's cool. an ebook, and I can go in there and edit it anytime I want. So I uh, projected it as I have an interview back where I used to work, wow. and so and it tells my life from the time I was about 15. And uh, new local celebrities, Marcia Yockey's mentioned in a couple of times, mm -hmm. Joe Salania, which I don't know how many people remember him, but he was an outdoor writer and had his own news uh, segment about the outdoors on TV. In fact, I think it was a station. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. And then, of course, we got your books all spread out here, but you said you have a new book, your 44th book, which is kind yes. of interesting because we're 44. <laughs> I'm working and, on it now. And you're working on that now. Talk to us about what's all in that book. Oh, this is a, it's a love story. Uh, I haven't really actually written a love story except for Madam President, which is mm -hmm. under Veronica Fox. I'm a co-author of that one. Okay. But this one, uh, I think it's going to be my best book. I've shed enough tears writing it because okay. it is so heart-touching. Well, it's because a love story, it. yes. And uh, they fall in love and then it's called Betrayed okay. because later down the road something Ooh, happens. You know what happens when it's called Betrayed. Now, when is that going to be released? Uh, probably be 40 years now. It's going to be an e-book though. It's going to be an e-book so yes. people can get it there. Yes. You know, when I talk to authors, I'm always interested here what inspired you because I'm sure this is mm -hmm. a great love, but what inspired you to write these books? I started writing poems uh, actually for a girlfriend when I was in high school mm -hmm. and then I didn't write anything for years and then I started writing religious poems uh, and then I used to go to churches and recite them and people would be crying. I thought, maybe I have a talent for writing. And so I started writing a lot of religious poems. My most popular pre I mean, most popular download is Mysteries of the Bible. Okay, and, and I uh, believe, oh, that, that's a download, okay, because yes. I've seen this one too. This yeah, that's the, the book, Bible. the Bible Observation and Knowledge. That's a book of humor, because under a pen name, ZTW. Okay, and do you have, I mean, we have many here, you've written 40, four, almost 44, right? Yes. What's your favorite one? Do you have one that just kind of sticks out a little bit? There's so <laughs> many. This is about my life growing up around here, life on Pigeon Creek. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm having a book signing before I forget, that's some angry I'm here, okay. uh, in uh, Dale. Uh, Saturday the 14th okay. from 10 till noon Central Time. Okay. And there's going to be other authors there too. There should be four or five maybe. Okay, so that book signing is coming up. And then also if people are watching and they see some of these books, they're interested, you have some ebooks, some of these other books, yes. how do they go ahead and, and sign up for that? You can Google my name, Kenneth Edward Barnes. Uh, you can Google Life on Pigeon Creek. Okay. Uh, Yankee Town's Tarzan, he's mentioned in there back in the 50s. This guy used to run around like Tarzan. Uh, and I most of these books I've written them, written them again as ebooks, so this is called Life Along Little Pigeon Creek, and they can find all my books there. And okay, just do, do a Google search. Yes. Well, it was great having you. Thank you so much, and what an inspiration, kind of. Thank you very much. We appreciate Thank that you. and your time. All right, let's send it over now to meteorologist Jackie Brown for a quick look outside.